Hey, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Do you have questions about your dehydrator? Do you know how to dehydrate your food? We all have to be vigilant before the ball drops at the end of this year. Next year is going to be a totally different story. I totally believe, and a lot of people out there believe, that things are going to change. Things are going to get even more expensive. I believe shortages are going to get even more than what you're already seeing in the stores. So do you know how to dehydrate? This is going to be like dehydration 101. A quick video to show you exactly what to do, what not to do, and everything else. First off, if you're going to be using fresh vegetables, all right, you may have to make sure that you peel your vegetables. You have to blanch your vegetables. And then you have to kind of pat them dry real good. Then you can take and put them on your racks inside of whatever dehydrator you choose to use. And then you can start your dehydration process. I will say that you need to make sure that you know how long to dehydrate and what temperature it is to dehydrate at. Depending on the products that you are dehydrating, from your meats to your vegetables, all this different types of stuff. You can do it. You just have to know how to do it. I would suggest, as I did show in one of my dehydration videos, buy a book on dehydrating. They're very knowledgeable. These people have put in the time and it takes a lot out of you. You can flip through the pages and find out whatever it is you're doing. Uh, mushrooms to beets to meats and whatever else. It can all be dehydrated. You just have to know exactly what you're doing and how to store it properly. Now, when storing your dehydrated products, you want to make sure that you're either canning them and vacuum seal them into canning jars, vacuum sealing them in a vacuum sealed bag, Mylar bags with oxygen absorbers. But you have to, the whole key, the whole key, folks, to dehydration is it has to be totally dehydrated before you put it away. Or you're going to get all different types of stuff starting to grow in there and you're going to ruin the whole batch and you just wasted your time, your money, and everything else. So what you want to make sure that you're doing is, is doing the test as a lot of people tell you out there on dehydration. It's got to be nice, dry, crisp. When you break it, it snaps. You know, So if you're doing your vegetables or whatever else, you pick it up and you break it corn if you crunch it and it just crumbles into crumbs into your palm it's totally dehydrated and it's ready to go dehydration is a great way for a lot of people to afford being able to put up food and being ready for the unknown whereas in freeze dryers are great trust me i mean that'd be the ultimate way if everybody could afford one you know, those things get very expensive and they do have a lot of maintenance with them. These, basically all you have to do is, depending on which machine you do get, a lot of these fit right in your dishwasher. You run them through a dishwasher on, if you have a sanitized setting, well, that'll work great because then it sanitizes everything. As I did show in some of my videos previous to this, I do urge you, you got to get screens. All right. Now. With this dehydrator, it comes with one of these screens, all right? Just one. Now, you get all these trays, but they only give you one screen. Now, there are different products out there where you don't have to purchase extra screens. It's all on what you can afford, like I did say, folks. But you can take and you can go to Walmart and you can buy this mesh. It's a rubbery silicone mesh. We'll go in the dishwasher also. Now you take this, all right, and you cut it out to fit whatever your machine is, all right? So you cut it out to fit. You can cut out the hole. I showed you how to do that in a previous video and everything else. And it fits right down in here, fits right over the hole. And you just load up your trays and you're good to go. Today I'm going to be doing some quick uh, mushrooms and a bag of mixed vegetables. Because if I'm going to run the machine, I want it to be completely full. So... This is what you have to do. You have to have a, when you're doing a lot of vegetables, especially if they're small things, you have to have a screen because it'll all fall through all the cracks and end up on the bottom. Now, some machines do not do that because they're, they're, the trays are screened. They're not like this. They're screened. 
So you don't have to worry about that type of situation. So this way here, that takes out another process that you have to do or something more you have to buy. But it's all in what you can afford because dehydrators can get expensive also. So if you're on a tight budget, you can pick up this Hamilton Beach right here, right through Amazon, little over 70 bucks, and you're good to go. All right, while supplies are available. A lot of this different type of stuff is starting to go now because people are starting to get smart and they're starting to see the writing on the wall and they see what is coming. So they're trying to figure out ways to make sure that they have what they want. A lot of people don't like the canned goods. They want to do their own dehydration. So they have fresh vegetables they can add to any meal, rehydrate, so on and so forth. And this way here, they are prepared. So you, you may not want to wait too long. Could be a hot topic Christmas gift this year. Buying somebody a dehydrator. You know, this way here, you can ensure that hopefully they use it and dehydrate their own products. So I'm going to adjust some cameras around here. And I'm going to get out of the freezer the mushrooms and the mixed vegetables. And I'll be right back. 